One of the more repetitive tasks typically performed in mechanical design is the creation of holes for standard size bolts and screws. SolidWorks provides a time-saving feature called the Hole Wizard which automates this task. For example, if I need to add a counterboard hole on this face that is properly sized for a quarter-inch panhead screw, I'll just click on this icon to launch the Hole Wizard. This is the Hole Wizard Property Manager. It allows me to define the type of hole we are using here on the first tab, and then use the Positions tab to determine the location and the number of holes. Beginning with the first tab, you first choose the type of hole you need. You can choose from a variety of hole types, such as counter bore, counter sink, and tapered tap, as well as from a variety of slots. For this example, I'll select the counter bore hole type. Next, you specify the dimension standard you wish to use, such as ANSI inch or ANSI metric. You then pick the type of fastener that will go in this hole and the size. You can choose whether you want the hole to provide a close, normal, or loose fit to the fastener. And I'll continue by inputting the depth of the hole. I can either type in a specific depth or use an end condition such as through all. With the information we've provided, SolidWorks automatically knows the rest of the standard dimensions that define the hole, such as the counter bore depth and diameter. There are also options you can activate, such as additional clearance at the top of the hole or a countersink. If you find yourself making modifications to these fields often, you may want to add your specifications to the list of favorites by clicking the Add or Update Favorites icon. This will make it easy for you to use your settings later without having to type each one in every time you use it. After selecting the size and type of hole, I'll click on the second tab to position the hole. Here, I'm asked to select a face to position the hole. You can select a 2D face to create holes on that face, or if you want to create holes on multiple faces, you can click the 3D Sketch button to place the location of the holes into a 3D sketch. 3D sketches are a bit too complex to cover in this course, so I'll stick to selecting flat faces for now. Once I select a face, notice that I'm placed in Edit Sketch mode and that the Point tool is activated automatically. This is useful because if you need more than just one hole, all you have to do is click to add more points to the sketch. Once you have the points you need, dimensions and relations can be applied to locate the holes. As soon as I click the green check, the holes are added. If you look at the feature tree, you will see the hole listed along with the description of the type and size. When the feature is expanded, you see there are two sketches used, one containing the individual points and the other containing the profile of the hole. If you need to make a change to the location or number of holes, all you have to do is click on the sketch containing the points and select Edit Sketch from the pop-up to make changes there. However, if you need to change the type of hole, don't edit the other sketch. Instead, click on the hole feature itself and select Edit Feature. This will bring back the Hole Wizard property manager used to create the hole in the first place. I can make changes to the size and even the type of hole here. From the property manager, I can switch over to the Positions tab to change the hole locations or add additional holes like I showed you a moment ago when editing the sketch. When I click the green check, each hole is updated.